Time for the long-awaited Nuke tutorial. Okay, I'm going to draw the case. Now the case is RP, rigid powder. And I'm using scale 4 for this and also I've made a custom colours so you can see it easier. And I've also changed to cross mode so you can see how um, big things are. Now this is the liner, the liner is just mochi and I've coloured it green and then I'm adding some GH, that's gas heater, just a touch in the middle. And then I'm going to add the fuel, uh, the actual bomb material, now that's IFM. And make sure you leave plenty of case as a barrier between your explosives and the rest of the bomb. Okay, now I've put it back to the blob and texture mode and I'm going to draw a um, scenery out of wall fuel, that's WF. And while I'll do that, I'll talk about the bomb quickly. Now the liner and the, um, the igniter, the GH, the way you do that is very important. Uh, it can basically be used as a timer as well. It can make it air burst. If you, if you put too much gas and not enough liner, your bomb might explode prematurely, so watch out for that. Oh, and also um, drain is on in all the scenes. I'll let it explode now, and you can sit back and observe. Now it's the mochi in the bomb which actually makes it so explosive. I've taken the mochi out and this is just fuel. Uh, behaves. It's a much smaller explosion and it's a lot more liquid. Okay, and for this bomb I've added output to everything. The liner, the heater, the fuel, everything except for the scenery. So if you add output, it'll actually be a lot more destructive. As you can see, it's left a hole in the floor and the building. And here's one with snow. Now snow makes it even more explosive. So be careful not to have yours explode prematurely. If you actually rewind this one, you'll see that it exploded in the air. And here's a regular bomb made out of powder. And in this case, it um, the liner acts as the shrapnel, which takes chunks out of the building. Now I haven't done it here, but you may want to put the liner in the sides of the bomb as well, so it causes more destruction sideways. Now all of this would be a lot more interesting if I actually bothered to make uh, custom material buildings, but I didn't. Like buildings which uh, break apart. Maybe another time.